are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. We're just having a. I'm just watching Joe trying to get in. So. So it's um yeah a lot earlier in the day for you over there. Yeah um, kind of uh raining outside. I was gonna do this outside, but I decided to come inside. Um, <laughs> But and, and it's kind of humid and, and, and nasty out too. So we've just got rain. I live um, in in a place that's that's over the road from the North Sea, and so we just have cold weather, <laughs> basically. So at the moment it's it's very cold and it's you know the sea's very angry. Um, so humid would be nice. <laughs> so you are one of the many that mm -hmm. Scam was found quite a while ago now. And started to use your pictures. Yeah. Was this before you were recruiting? Was this before you went into the recruiting? No, I honestly, I, I think it was before recruiting. I just didn't know too much about it. I started to uh, recognize it more um, when I became a recruiter because I've been making more posts uh, public and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, as a recruiter, you got to kind of. Um, tell the community this is who you are and yeah. this is, you're like a real human you're not you're not a robot so um you make things public more than you would normally um just because of the job so the scammers take advantage of that and and of course you're easy to contact i mean you're easy to see you put yourselves up there so you're very easy to see exactly who you are uh, um, yeah, well, my name is Sergeant First Class Graves, and I'm an Army recruiter. Uh, I didn't introduce myself. I apologize. Um, I've been doing this for about 18 years, and uh, I've never experienced anything like this before. It's 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 ridiculous. It's 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 getting worse, isn't it? Yes, it, it, it's getting worse. Um, but with you guys, um, honestly, um, I have an avenue to go to because before it was like you had to deal with it. You try to tell them to, to stop doing it and they just laugh at you. Yeah. But I, I've, I've had all kinds of different incidents uh, happen um, where they, um, they, now that I report them all the time, they, they'll they contact me saying, please stop reporting me and uh, we'll yeah, take, they do. take your money. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is they crazy. They do. I mean, I, I, when I first heard that, when I first heard that they actually – um, you know, contact you and tell you to not do this or, or whatever because, you know, you've got money so they want to make money out of you. And they feel like it's fine. Yeah. There's, I, there's nothing wrong with it, you know. That's what they want to do and they want to use you. Yeah, it's 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 ridiculous. It's 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 immoral and, and I I really hate the fact that they, they feel that it's it's okay. Um, and also, another thing easy. that I want you to tell people, because we tell them, but I want you to tell people, there is nothing you can do about this. There is. There's nothing I can personally do about it. No. Instagram needs to do a better job, to be honest. Yes, um, I, I feel like they, they honestly, they don't care as long as they're making money out of their, their app. It's and, numbers, isn't it? Yeah, it's all you about know. numbers. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the more people that they get on using, well, if they can put on, say, we have so many billions or millions of accounts then that makes them look good but to be honest i i i think we're getting to the stage now where half of all accounts on instagram are fake yeah so i i have seven instagram accounts myself so i can imagine <laughs> all these scammers yes yeah. it's ridiculous and the reason why i have so many is because of the scammers i originally uh, originally started off with one um and then i made my recruiting uh page so that way i can make it uh more personable mm -hmm. um, and more business-like. And it turned into seven because I had the scammers using my pictures and then people would report me as the yes. scammer. So yes. I got reported and then Instagram deleted me uh, or deactivated me. And yes. um, I one after another had to keep re re recreating the accounts and uh, finding new followers. And it was just like doing work over and over yeah. and, because uh, and, and sort of nobody quite appreciates the impact it has on your life because really when you think about it you are not involved because no. this is between a woman and a scammer yeah 
it's your pictures, but you're not involved in it, and yet it impacts on your life so completely. Yeah. You know, it, it's it, just. And, and, uh, and there has been um, some people that that uh, have been victims that contact me and and, and tell me that I've been. Um, my pictures are being used and uh, all the stories that they tell me are pretty much the same. Um, the, the scammer is, is somewhere about and um, my <laughs> wife is dead and uh, I need to send money home to, uh, to the kids. Can they help me out? And it's, yeah. it's all the same. It, I find it's almost the same approach as well. Because, um, and, and another thing that I found very, very useful doing these is that, you know, I'm the person that gets a lot of contact from scammers. On my Facebook page, I've got widow. Now, I am one. So, you know, but this is how I got into knowing about scammers because 10 years ago, or well, 12 years ago that my husband died, 10 years ago, I put widow on my Facebook page in all innocence. And all of a sudden, I was very attractive to lots of US generals and I thought what it just didn't make sense but me being me um just started to look into it I mean I've I've talked to them plenty but I've never been scammed um but then when you sort of see it it's it made me angry that I would be a target um yeah. That, that somebody was sat in a room somewhere looking for women who were on their own because back then it really was just older widows that were contacted. Um, it really made me angry that, you know, there was people sat in a room just looking for, for, for people to scam. Yeah. And then we sort of started to realise that, well, that's all right because I'm a human, but then they're looking for you. Then they're looking for your pictures. You know, they are looking for other people that they can actively use. And I think it's cruel them saying, yeah. your wife's dead. Yeah, it, it's it's crazy that the stories that they come up with just to, to sell the scam. Yeah. And and uh, the fact that they'll, they'll say it without any, like, conscious, they go to sleep at night with that is, is just beyond me. Yeah, because they have, you know, your wife's died of car crash, cancer or childbirth. Yeah. Um, you know, then the parents have died of being in a plane accident or, you know, um, you know, it's, it's always incredibly sad so mm -hmm. that they can put it over to the victim that you and, and the victim, you know, you're very close and she is the only one that you've got because you've got nobody else left in the world. Now, the thing is that I don't find people, there are people with tragic lives, but not that tragic, right. you know, um, and then, of course, the start the stories. And so I want you to tell me that if you were away and you were deployed, would you tell anybody where you were? No. Now, first of all, like I have been deployed and I yeah. have the world. So my account has pictures of me all over the world. So it's very believable. Now, if a soldier gets deployed, they get paid to deploy. They get paid a lot. <laughs> money extra yes. to deploy um they don't pay and you always have that like money like that they get ha hazardous duty pay they get travel pay there's all yeah. kinds of things uh they get paid for so if somebody's saying that you have uh, uh a need for for money like the, yeah. the soldier needs money then number one they're, they're lying to you or number two that they don't know how to manage your money and i mean that's the only um, the way that I would say that um, they would need money is that they're very, 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 very far in debt. But th like, you do yeah, not I mean, I, I think it's unreasonable to think that the U.S. Army sends you away, sends you away to fight for your country, but we're not going to pay you till you come back. Yeah, that that's not true. You know, not, I mean, people can say, well, I don't know how the U.S. Army works. Fine. Maybe yeah. they don't. So, so we get paid on the but, first you know, and the 15th of every month, yeah. no matter what. Unless you have an Article 15 or something like that and you, you're in trouble, then you're not, getting, yeah. uh, you're, you're not getting paid zero, but you're not getting paid the full amount. But you're still getting money. They're, yeah. they're not going to take all your your money away. You're, you got meals provided for you, yeah. uh, a place to stay. There, there's everything. I'm sorry, is, we get the cat yeah. every one of these. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yes, yeah, so you're, you're, you're taken care of. There's, there's no situation where they would put you in a, in a foreign land and not pay yeah. you. So. Tell me about what happens back home with your family, because if there was a, if there was a, you had a child that was ill, you would not need to ask anybody for money to pay for that child. No, we have what's called an AER loan, uh, emergency uh, relief loan. Um, that if you were to need money, there's ways to get um, um, loans that are 0% interest. So even if you had $0 to, to take care of things back home, um, there's ways that we, yeah. we, can, we can get around that. Now, you would be contacted by uh, the chain of command, uh, letting you know that something's wrong at home. Yes, but... Um, there, there's communication between you and the family. No matter where you go in the world, we have Facebook, we have Instagram, we and have you can, phones. You and, can and, video call. Yep, and you can video you can call. call. And you can voice even, call. Even, even in, in the middle of a desert, we have sat phones. So if there was yep. an emergency, we could we could contact you. Yeah, And that costs you nothing. It costs us nothing. The, yep. the government pays for it. So you don't need an Amazon gift card no. to... Um, you know, from from anybody, because what this what they do is is start off with with cards quite early. Um, you know, they want the, they want the money, and they say, "Oh, well, it's really nice to talk to you, but if we're going to video call, uh, you know, we're going to need a card to do it, or you have to register." And when you register, it's like five hundred dollars to register. Mm. You know, and and again, I find that quite unreasonable that anybody would actually think that that was going to be you know yeah. it, it, um, yeah. so another thing the, the another thing that i i always sort of have to smile at is the commander getting in touch with this woman that you're talking to now can you imagine you being you you are deployed you are in syria and the general decides to email your girlfriend or your wife it would never ever happen, would it? That would never happen. If it does, there's going to be some charges brought up on that, <laughs> that man. Yeah, because you know the the um, it's very very common for them to get an email, and it's always Gmail, but they get an email um, from the general, and the general is going to arrange the leave um, for the vacation. For the soldier and and you get some quite elaborate emails you know uh, we are very happy that he's found love and he wants to come and see you to arrange the marriage well you're not going to get the general to release you to go and arrange your marriage from being on deployment in syria no you, you have a mission up there you have yeah. to accomplish that mission they're and, not going to stop things you, for a marriage and 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 to be quite honest with you um they don't like uh like interfering with marriages anyway so if there, <laughs> yeah if there's something that they they got to do with that you're definitely waiting until you get home yeah i mean you know it's it's just that we have to keep saying as i said to you before you know i can say to people well the commander's not going to or the general's not going to email you and they'll say to me well how do you know well it's because we ask you know we ask all of you as you know all the time yeah. about things um but then they'll sort of like not quite believe us because they've got a very believable scammer on the other side yeah, well, and we the, find the scammers that, are quite quite uh i hate to say clever uh but um they're they're using videos and like voiceovers yeah. and everything so it, it, it looks like you're on a video call with the person like they, they think that they're talking to me but Maybe yeah. it'll be a different uh, voice, but you can see my voice doesn't oh. sound like um, <laughs> outside. I know. Of I know. I mean, some of them are quite funny. I mean, we shouldn't laugh, but you've got to with some of them. Um, but, you know, this is a video call. The, it, you know, if somebody was using your pictures and they got a video call from you, then it is you sat in front of the camera talking and chatting about right. things and your mouth moving to the words um and it never happens you mm -hmm. know it, it it just never happens 
And we get so many people will say, well, I know it was him because I saw him move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and and they'll, they'll blame it on the quality of the internet yeah. over there. And, and be quite honest, and the, the quality over there is getting better than it is over here. So you'll see me glitch in, inside, in and out, out inside <laughs> my house before you will overseas. Yeah. I mean, I've done video chats, um, you know, with with ones that are deployed, and it's just exactly the same as talking to you, right? You know, um, and and so it's you know it's getting through to everybody just what the reality is. Yep. You know, um, have people sort of tracked down members of the family to to you know do do they go looking for members of your family and and this sort of thing to contact them? So I, I've had um, victims actually contact my wife and say mm. that um, your husband husband's being scammed and uh, they're saying that she's dead and, and yeah. that whole the whole scripts. Um, my wife has actually um, um, contacted the scammers and told them to take the pictures down, which I don't recommend for anybody. If you get in contact with a scammer, just leave it alone because what they they're doing. Yeah, well, th what they're doing is they're learning from their mistakes. So when they, when you contact <laughs> them and tell them, hey, stop doing this or stop, just block them, delete them, uh, ask scam haters to, to report them, and, and they go away, like, really quick. And um, they can't learn from their mistakes. So if you uh, are constantly in, in talking with them, uh, trying to figure out what's going on or, or telling them to uh, stop. It's easier just to, to report it and forget about it because although you made a mistake and you, you maybe sent uh, money or whatever, you got to learn from your mistakes too yeah. and just end it. Don't don't try to correct it because uh, you you might be thinking that you're talking to me, but you're not, I promise. And also, yeah, and, and also, you see, women will say, well, I asked him questions about the army. And he couldn't tell me the answers. But the, the thing about that is they are giving the scammers the answers. So all they're doing, you can play with scammers. You can be very proud of playing with scammers. And many of you do. And many of you after this are going to argue with me about it. I know you will. Yeah. But they are teaching the scammers to be better. Yep. You know, you said before about them getting cleverer. Well, it's practice. You do anything for every day. So, I so I, I, I did um, um, do what uh, I to told you guys to, to not do, and I contacted the scammer, and and, uh, and I, I was playing around with him and telling him um, to that basically he, he's dumb and and with with not so many words, um, and he ended up like reporting me and telling all his people that he's scamming that I'm the scammer and. Yeah. Then, it, it turned around on me. Like I, I was the one that had to recreate all these accounts. But uh, thankfully, I, I learned from my mistake, and I just report them and, and forget about them. Even if I think it's a scammer, uh, I'll ask you guys, "Hey, is this a scammer?" And they say, "Yeah" or "No," and then yeah. I'll, I'll block and delete. I mean, Joe, Joe, and Lauren that, that do the page. I mean, they're great. They they know just by looking at them, you know, if they are Monday to Friday, we've got our contact, so we can. You know, weekends you've got to wait, but Monday to Friday we've got our contact, and 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 we can get rid of them. You know, which is brilliant, really. You know, because it does it does help a lot. Um, another thing that um, that I've been told as well before is if you are deployed somewhere, you're not going to tell somebody you're going to go out on patrol. No. And you're not going to post pictures from that patrol because no. what we get is um, they will they will come back and they'll send pictures of somebody being carried off in a stretcher. Mm -hmm. Now, all they are from are from army army pages where there's been a um, you know you can usually find the the U.S. Army have done a training exercise with the British Army and this was the picture from it. But mm -hmm. what I want to get over is. If it was you and you were deployed, you couldn't send pictures back like that. Right, it's operational security, so we call it OPSEC. So if there's something that we're doing, we're not going to talk to you about it, even if we no. are madly in love. We we can't we can't tell you what's going on over there. We we won't show you pictures. We won't show you videos. It's it's all um, 
operational security. It makes sense. When you talk about it, it makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. um, when the scammer talks about it, it makes perfect sense to the woman that's being scammed. But the more we can repeat it and the more people we can get to repeat it, um, we get people telling us a lot different. Well, you can't do that, you know, because it's security and things like that. And the fact as well, this is Sergeant Joseph Graves and this is his voice. Mm -hmm. And what a scammer tends to do is talk to you nice and low and... Um, they, 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 they tend to have a deep voice and they tend to talk quite low and an African can't do an American accent very well and their voice sounds nothing, nothing like you, yeah. you know. Um, or, or they might do the complete opposite and use the operational security as a part of the scam saying I yeah, can't so talk to you because of the operational security and they use that against them so. I, I sort of think that if I was at home and I was getting constant texts from somebody. Oh, another thing. If you were deployed and or even if you were on a base in the US, you can't sit there for five hours and text somebody. <laughs> no, if, if you're... If you're, you're a bit busy. I, I don't even text my wife for five hours. <laughs> <but> <laughs> we won't give her any... No, we won't give her any ideas. <laughs> No, but like if you if you're sitting around texting, uh, you're you're probably gonna get yelled at by your NCO. <laughs> so you you got to get the job done, especially if you're deployed. You you you're you're constantly working. There's no like free time. Basically, if you're if you got free time, you're sleeping, you're eating, or or you're working <laughs> out. When you think about it, you go out there as a unit, and every person in that unit's got a job to do. Yeah. So you're not going to be the spare part that's got five hours to text. Every single person in that unit has a job to do. Another thing I want you to confirm, because this is something else that they ask for money for. Because you're so madly in love and you want to go on vacation to meet your new love, they ask for something called a replacement soldier fee. So if, so if it was me and I wanted you home, I have to pay for a replacement soldier to to replace you. It so, sounds, uh, I mean, it's ridiculous. Awful. Thank you. That's the but, word I wanted to use. That's but, the word I use as well. But they're, like I said, they're getting creative. They're they're using these these tactics yeah. to, to divert like the truth, and it's it's crazy. Um, we we do not uh, get a soldier to come in and replace no. us. Um, even when we were doing R and R uh, rest and relaxation, um, we we wouldn't have somebody come in from the states to replace us. Yeah. We would just leave, do our thing, and come back. <laughs> well, if you're anything like the U the UK Army, and I, you won't be any different, every person in that unit's got their job to do. Yeah. So somebody can't just come in and do it because right. that's your job within the unit. So you know, you know, they can't. Nobody is going to tell you that they deployed to Afghanistan. Nobody's going to tell you that deployed to Syria. And if they tell you that they deployed to Nigeria, run. Because the US Army is not deployed to Nigeria. No. I mean, why would you be deployed to Lagos? <laughs> you I know. mean, we, have, we do have a presence everywhere. Um, and that's why these scammers use us. Uh, because there's soldiers literally everywhere. Um, and, and myself, you might, you, yeah, you might, I mean, I've met um Marines in, in I remember being in the you know, in American embassies, mm -hmm. um, and sort of everywhere you go there, you've got Marines guarding them, yeah. Um, but you know, they're not out on patrol and they're, and they're not shooting anybody. Another thing that they ask for money for is when you're out on this magic patrol and don't forget it could be a secret mission you've just been on instagram and you're just telling everybody about it but it could be a secret mission but you lose the gun and your superior wants you to pay for that gun yes i can see by your face but that would never happen 
Well, so no, you, number one, you don't lose your weapon. Yeah, no, you don't. I mean, I, I wouldn't that's think something, there was anything. So when I'm overseas and, and I carry a weapon, right, and I wake up with that weapon that's by my side uh, yes. day in and day out. So if you walk away from that weapon, the first thing, like, you, you're, you have a heart attack because that weapon is not <laughs> by your side. You take a shower with that weapon. So, like, it, it does yes. not get your side. It does not get lost. And if it were to ever get lost or damaged, uh, it, it would uh, come out of your paycheck in the statement of charges of more of an Article 15 than anything. Mm. So you would not – it wouldn't be like, hey, I got to pay the commander cash right now. No. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't work yeah, out. well, that you know, like this lady said, all the lost the bullets. Yeah, you know, but... I mean, is it is it bullets, as if you bullets, are, gone bullets are like book? eggs. Bullets are like eggs. They're like a, a diamond dozen. <laughs> yeah. if, if you uh, if you lost a bullet, they're not gonna. They want accountability yeah. of the bullets, but they're not gonna charge you for a no. bullet. Yeah. No. no, I mean they do just think of everything. Absolutely, everything um, that they can get money for. I said this to Felipe and he hadn't heard of it. Where, where, when you're in, when you're in Afghanistan, um, you you suddenly come across gold and dollars, and you want to send it home in a fake package. In, in, sorry, you want to send it home in a package, mm -hmm. but your current love is the only one that you can trust with that. Mm. No, <laughs> no. So when you're overseas, the post office uh, does an inspection. There's no way you're hiding it. Um, U.S. Customs will definitely find that, and you will get arrested if if that were. Yeah. To and be. also, you would not use a local courier company. No. You know, I, I've no. seen them with USPS and you know DHL and things like that. Um, getting emails from DHL saying your package is on the way. Well, no. Mm -mm. Doesn't happen. <laughs> no. It, it it doesn't happen and it's getting the word out there that it doesn't happen yeah. that we've got to do um and just blow the myth out of every single story you know that that they send because i can't understand how anybody believes the secret mission story because to me you know i grew up with james bond i know what a spy is and and if you're on a secret mission you are not going to go on instagram or tinder no. You are not going to sort of land in Afghanistan and suddenly register on Tinder because you're lonely. It's not going to happen. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. Uh, it's just, I, I hate to laugh because it is funny, but yeah. it's just, it's sad in the same time because yeah, it is. people, I, I understand they, they don't know what the military is about and, and um, and they fall for these stories. It's just, it's. It's got to be common sense, though, Joseph. It's got to be common sense in there as well. Yeah, there, there definitely needs to be common sense. I, I think that uh, a lot of these people that do fall for these stories are are hurting in some way, so they want to believe yeah. that it's true, and and the fact that it's not true, they hate that fact that it's not true, so they they try to 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 make stories so that they believe it's true, and that's where they're right. hurt. And, and of course, in the middle of it, I mean, we can talk about it dispassionately like this, but in the middle of it, you've got, well, I've lost, I've lost the gun and my, my general wants $250. Um, I love you very much, honey. And then they go into something else and they yeah. say, you know, I really miss you, baby. You're the best thing that's happened to me. And, and that's another thing. If they're constantly saying honey or baby or yeah. whatever. That means th th that's a tactic they, that, that they use because they don't want to accidentally call you the wrong name or yeah. whatever. And, and so if it's a honey or a baby, usually it's, it's, it's a sign. It's a sign that... And, and you know, the, 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 this is, I say this every video, so I'm sorry, ladies, but my pet hate is Hello Pretty. It's not something that you would say to somebody. You just wouldn't. You know, and then of course the the fabled my queen, which is the most African thing they can say, anyway. Yeah, and, um, and they say like this all uh, like I said before, uh, just so that way they can use the the same scripts and they don't have to memorize who these because they have so many accounts and they talk to so many different people. Yeah. 
they, they they wouldn't be able to keep it straight. So if they used the names, they would always be messing it up. So in order to keep the script, that's why they use that's why they use baby. Oh. And of course, you know, yeah, <laughs> my queen. Um, and of course, you know, they've got everybody on Hangouts. I know they use WhatsApp. I know they use. Oh, what's the other one? Telegram. They like Telegram, I think, for the Asian uh, girls. Um, and you know, they'll they'll hunt them anywhere, but then they'll get them on Hangouts. I don't know anybody on Hangouts that's not a scammer or a victim. Um, but then it's very much easy to keep them all in a line because then they, you know you've got a room full of people. Mm -hmm. They can scam a hundred at once. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, so, yeah, he was raised by a military priest that both parents were dead. He was born in Germany because for some unknown reason, they think that a European accent covers an African accent, but it doesn't. Yeah. So if you ever have, uh, somebody that's contacting you saying that you're overseas, um, there's, there's always ways to find out if that person is, um, actually who they say they are just ask for their dot mail their their email yeah um and then if they give you like a gmail or something then yeah. the, you know it's not real because uh, a lot of times uh like i'll contact uh get contacted by somebody and uh, they'll say do you know if this person's fake i said well just give me the dot mail and i'll look them up and then they they said they don't know what their dot mail is <laughs> that's right and and you know I have known why they have given you, they, they have given an email address. So they, you know, they will sort of make it up with at mail.mail on the end. We'll send an email to that email address he's given you because you won't get a reply. No. You know, because I've, I've, I've done it myself when, when somebody's given me, um, you know, well, he's got a, he's got a real army email address so i'll say did you try it no but he gave me it so he's right yeah, you have to you have to trust and verify so if, if you're yeah. Yeah. Them, then you're gonna get hurt you gotta yes. verify it um and, and it's too easy to verify yeah and and obviously you know you can you can you can send an email you're not going to get anything back yeah you know so it it is just very much Yes, they can give the military email out to anybody. Yes. Somebody's asking that. Yeah, I, I give out my email all the time to people, and, and, and I encourage you to, to email if you, me if you have questions because um, uh, I like talking to people. And, and, I, and I, I'm a recruiter, so I have to, uh, to get my information out there so they can help, uh, help me yeah. help people get people in the Army. So, <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, very often we will say to somebody, especially if we get somebody with you know that said my mother's been scammed or my sister's been scammed and we'll say well try and try and call a recruiter and tell them the story and say you know it, are you likely to be talking to this person yeah because you know a recruiter and i discovered this about you all you do like to talk um and and you know nobody's ever minded us saying well, go to a recruiter and ask them. Nobody's, no recruiter has ever minded that. You know, they've yeah. always, they've always been so good and, yeah. and being really if, patient, if we, you if know. We, if we get somebody in, we're going to, we're going to try to put you in the army, regardless if, if, <laughs> if you're there. I think I'm a bit old. Uh, so if you, if you come and talk to me, I'm going to make you an appointment. <laughs> oh, you can make me an appointment. I've been yeah. to New Jersey. Yeah. I've been to New Jersey. <laughs> I actually, I actually have been to New Jersey. I couldn't tell you anything about it, but I have actually been to New Jersey. Um, yeah, I've, I've got a little sort of passion in my life that I've got one other thing I do outside Scam Haters, and that's I really like ice hockey. Okay. So I actually, yeah, yeah, I actually had a, an NHL holiday. Isn't that sad? Um, I had an NHL holiday, so it was very good. Um, but no, I, I found everybody that we've approached has been really, really friendly and helpful, you know? So, so we say to people, go to these people. He doesn't mind. No recruiter will mind telling you no. because it's, because it's helping as well, because these people are bringing the army into disrepute. You know, a lot of Asian and, and, um, and even some of the Eastern European women will tell us oh don't like talking to a u.s army they 
they're always just after money. You know, and that's that's awful. That that these scammers are are, um, are just bringing the army into disrepute. So yeah, it, it's unfortunate. Uh, it, it gives us bad name, um, and. I would love to talk to to these people in person. Like, I, oh, <laughs> I would yeah. have some some words with them. Uh, probably. Uh, yeah, there's uh, a few. Yeah, there's a few have said that that I've talked to. Normally, it's not words that you would like to yeah. have with them. <laughs> it's it's to do with hands around necks usually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I'd like to watch if you do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll make sure I, I mean, do live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the thing is that it's very it's very sad all round. I think. There's a lot of sides get hurt in a scam. Um, there is the people in the actual military. There are the families in the military. There are the people who have been scammed. There are the families of the people who have been scammed because, you know, they, um, they, they pull families apart. You know, they'll have the, they'll have the military person say, um, well, I think what we should do is, is we should um, we should buy a house together. So I think you should sell your house, but don't tell anybody, because they'll be jealous and they'll try and pull us apart. And the ultimate is getting a woman to sell her house and send the money. That is the real ultimate ambition, because that's the mass that's the maximum amount of money anybody has, you know. Um, and that's just not something, I mean, can you imagine? Can you imagine being away and, and going through, you know, sort of whatever the American version of the local real estate is um, and, and getting to buy a house and things like that while you're away. It's not going to happen, ladies. Not ever. Uh -huh. Just a last thing I want to clear up is, as we said before, about the, uh, the army being in West Africa. The army being in Nigeria or in Ghana, anything like that. And when they want something, they have a local Nigerian agent to send it to. Who will get the money to you? Never going to happen, is it? No, no. So, it, so if somebody I, wanted to send you a package. So, no, if anybody wants to, to, to send me a package while I'm overseas, it's a care package. Like, yeah. out of the goodness of your heart, it's, it's not going to be asked for money. Um, there's organizations out there that you can donate to if you really want to donate to a soldier. Uh, but if, if this person is really in love with you, they're not going to ask for a large amount of money. They're, they're going to do everything they can and do to take care of you, not take care of them. And it's not going to be... Ola Wally Onji Guji in Lagos who's going to get the money or the package and no. give it to you. No. And that to me is very, very important because that the person who is saying, this is my friend, I deal with him, he's the agent, that is your scammer. Yeah. Because he is the person who's going to get that package, who's going to get that money from Western Union or whatever. Yeah. So if he gives you a name like that, that's your scammer. So, can you think of anything else? Um, Just the, the check, only, it, check the everything. Only, recommend, only recommendation I, I say is like, as I said before, if you have even, like, if you have to question it, like, if you have any doubt in your mind, then it's going to be a scammer. And there's resources to go to to, mm. to talk to people. Like you said, talk to recruiters, talk to somebody local, or maybe uh, mm. ask somebody that you know for a fact is in the military, and they can do the research, and they can find out if this person is who they say they are. There's too many signs uh, for you to not know that it's not real. If 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 it's if it's real, then uh, it can wait until he gets home. Yeah. He gets and, and, and I think if it's real, it's general. It's general chatter. It's nothing very much. You won't get into yeah. anything. If a gift card comes up, it's fake. Yeah. And and also, <laughs> money, it's fake. If you were talking to somebody, say you were talking to somebody you didn't know, right? Say you were away somewhere and you were talking to me. Mm -hmm. You would not say to me. Oh, do you know what's happened? My my phone's broken and I need a new iPhone. Tell you what, Ruth, just show me the front of your credit card 
take a picture of the front of your credit card and the back of your credit card and now this happens and it happens often and what I'll do is I'll order a phone I'll get it sent to my Nigerian agent and I'll pay you when I when I come back never give your card away never give your card details away I mean, never give your bank your details away and you, you want to give it to somebody that you want to know why would you give it to somebody you haven't met so and a real person would never ask for it no and also and if you if you do that and nobody ever does this so i'm i know what i'm saying here when you open a bank account or a credit card you get terms and conditions you know all those little long words that you get at the end that you sign at the end and nobody ever reads those no. those words those terms and conditions actually say if you give out your details to somebody else who it's your fault <laughs> yeah it's your fault basically yeah. because you've given out those details yeah. so you won't get it back yeah so but no real person is going to ask you for it no 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 uh real decent human being no. <laughs> and you know it's 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 just to get the word out there and, and i thank you very much for doing this yeah no problem I, we have fun I, I i appreciate you having me on here and, and i i, I want to make sure that people see my face so that way when they yeah. see my picture and it's not me putting pictures up and if yeah. they say that they want money, I'm not the guy. <laughs> I'm not the one that did it. I promise yeah. you. Because I, I do get some people thinking that I'm the person that asked them for money. And I, I'm not. My picture was used to ask you for money. And so I apologize that that happened. But it's, it's not my fault. And I, I don't want yeah. you to feel that um, you have to come to me. Um, just delete and block it and then move yeah. on with life. And there's no good coming to tell you all about it because... You can't do anything. No, can't do nothing. You can't go to the FBI. You can't go to anywhere no. and, and do anything about it. So it's no good coming to Joseph or any of the others. I tried, them all I, about it. I tried reporting. I tried reporting to uh, special agents and CID and everything. And they said the same thing. There's nothing they can do about it. Uh, there's laws in their country that prevents them from getting uh, charged for anything. And um, there's no, uh, like, it. it it doesn't cover a certain amount of money, so they they're not going to go out there. That's and, right. And I think the FBI, it. you know, go over a million or something like that. And also, you see, with a, with a scammer, they are asking for money, and the people voluntarily send. Yep. You know, you can say no. So, is it theft? It's fraud. No. Um, but you know, you can say no. So, a scammer was going to ask you for some money, but yep. if you send it, you do that voluntarily, and you say goodbye to it. And you're buying a Nigerian a new necklace. Well, I, I do have one piece of advice. If if any of these females they want to join the military, they can fall in love with all <laughs> they want. And you can hit me up on Instagram and I'll put you in the army. <laughs> well, yeah, you see, about three hundred years ago I joined the Navy. <laughs> you see, it was um it was a very long time ago. But I was in the Navy. I was in the Royal Navy, in the British <laughs> Navy. Um Good times. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, we still have a reunion every year, you know. Nice. Um, you know, even even after all those years, and it's been cancelled this year because of, of COVID. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we still have a reunion, and we just sort of, you know, all just get older. And when we're together, we're all still as crazy as we were when we were 18, you know, so. All right. All right. You know. I think once you're in the... My, my son's in the military as well. He's in the Navy. Um, yeah. And I think once you of that type of person and in that type of you know you stay there don't you you know sure. um so yeah thank you very much yeah no problem thank you and, and again, very thank much you for inviting me to to participate in this i really appreciate it that's great thank you and this is sergeant graves this is his face and this is his voice and it wasn't him yeah that's me thank you very much joseph thank you good night good night bye